Good day, welcome to Daily News Update on Flip TV. My name is Peace Oladipo. The headlines. Present certificates all forfeit October salary. Finti retails Adamawa workers. Uphold principles that brought you to power. LP faction tells OT. NNPC portal shut down delays petrol supply. FIFA delays verdict on Palestinian request to suspend Israel. Now the news. More than 7,000 Adamawa state government workers may lose their jobs as Governor Amadou Fintiri has ordered that all workers must present their original certificates before their October salary is paid. The governor's decision may not be unconnected with multiple cases of certificate scandal discovered recently in some ministry, board and para state house. A statement issued on Thursday in Yola by the chief press secretary Omwashi Monisioko stated that the exercise is not to winch on anyone but to restore sanity in the service. According to the governor, the move aims to restore order and prevent unqualified individuals from occupying positions, thereby denying opportunities to the younger generations. He warned that failure to comply will result in the forfeiture of October salaries until the certificates are submitted. However, Fintiri assured that no one will be denied their salary if they present their certificate before the end of October. The governor's directive is driven by concerns that some individuals are taking advantage of the system failures to engage in wrongdoings. To politics, the Julius Abure led National Working Committee of the Labour Party on Thursday alleged that Governor Alex Oti monopolized the proceedings for the elections of candidates from the November 2nd local government's elections in Abia State. The concerns was raised in a statement issued in Abuja by the National Publicity Secretary of LP, Ubiora E4, titled Ensuring the Integrity of Local Government Elections in Abia State. The warning comes barely 24 hours after the Abia faction local so the governor disowned the committee set by Abure to oversee the emergence of candidates to vote for each council election in the state. The committee, headed by a former LP chairman, C.K. Igara, also as the state secretary, Andrew Oyagba, as a member, while warning the governor to steer clear of the electoral process and give the party a free hand to conduct its affair. He for condemned these actions, saying it was such interference that forced the Supreme Court to grant autonomy to local government administrations in the first place. According to him, local councils ought to be catalysts for the grassroots development, growth and transformation while warning the governor to stay clear of the electoral process and give the party a free hand to conduct its affairs. He for condemned this action, saying it is such interference that forced the Supreme Court to grant autonomy to local government administrations in the first place. According to him, local councils ought to be catalysts for grassroots development, growth and transformation to business. Oil marketers have said that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited portal used to purchase petrol has been shot against dealers, making it impossible for them to apply for the commodity purchase. They said marketers are still awaiting over 90 million liters of petrol for the state-owned company. This is valued at about 79 billion naira. The point record that amid marketers complain over their inability to order petrol, the NNPC confirmed the shutdown of its purchasing portal to our correspondent last month, giving its reasons. According to NNPC spokesperson Lufemi Shoneye, the company shut the portal due to significant backlog. Shoneye explained that the shutdown became necessary to stop NNPC from holding marketers' capital for too long. He, however, assured marketers that the portal would be reopened after the backlog had been reduced. In an interview, the National Publicity Secretary of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Chinedu Ukadike, said the association is still waiting for the portal's opening. They are on it 
Our marketers are still loading petrol from the NNPC. I can't confirm the price now because the portal is still shut down. He disclosed that a 45,000 litre truckload of PMS is around 39.5 million naira, making 79 billion naira when multiplied by 2,000. The Petroleum Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria also confirmed that its members could not access the NNPC purchasing portal. To sports. World football's governing body, FIFA, made no verdict either way Thursday on a Palestinian request to suspend Israel, instead launching committee investigations to inform an eventual decision. At FIFA's Congress in Bangkok in May, the Palestinian Football Association, PFA, called for its Israeli counterpart to be suspended and for Israeli teams to be banned from FIFA events. FIFA was initially set to hold an extraordinary session of its ruling council before July 20th to review the independent legal analysis and decide how to proceed. However, the deadline was pushed back to give legal experts more time to complete a report at the organization's headquarters in Zurich on Thursday. The FIFA council adopted the recommendations and conclusions reached in the legal analysis. It decided that its disciplinary committee would be mandated to investigate the alleged offense of discrimination raised by the PFA. Meanwhile, FIFA Governance, Audit and Compliance Committee will be entrusted with the mission to investigate and subsequently advise the FIFA Council on the participation in Israeli competition of Israeli football team alleged based in the territory of Palestine. In March 2022, Russia was expelled from the 2022 World Cup and its team was suspended from all international football competitions until further notice after it invaded Ukraine. FIFA announced in a joint statement with UEFA, none of its football clubs is participating in all four European tournaments. In 2019, Russia was stopped from participating in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and 2022 Beijing Winter Games after the World Anti-Doping Agency banned the powerhouse from global sporting events for four years over manipulated doping data. That's all on News Update. My name is Peace Oladipo. Thank you.